welcome back to another video. So this time I am on the Bleach Brave Souls uh, Twitter account right now. And for this video, because obviously the 7th anniversary is coming up. Right here, Brave Souls 7th anniversary. And they released a character, Guess Who? Because at the near the end of the month will be the 7th anniversary. And... They kind of like how to answer, follow Bleach Brave Souls English, watch this hint video, quote tweet it with the hashtag character of your choice, breathe BBS, guess seventh, and then there will be winners. They're choosing like five people who, who happen to guess it right or whatever. But even if you guess it right and you guess it wrong, it doesn't matter. Now, what I was thinking for this video is that we are going to go through the thread and just kind of change our votes into like, who it may be currently because I, I already previously went into the thread for a little bit and there was this one person who definitely tweeted a very good uh guess and it was very interesting and now i kind of wanted I, well it's something i wanted actually I, I i really don't mind for the specific character but now it kind of made me believe that like yeah i could see that that like definitely is and the character now that i'm super convinced on because of that uh tweet or whatever in the thread was Udio Ishida. Before I explain anything, we're gonna we're gonna watch the video, a little hint video. If you have have not seen it, the hint video doesn't really have much. It's just kind of you you hear rain, you see rain, water droplets showing all the past uh, anniversary characters and such. And then you know 2022, but it starts out with resounding pride. Which is really interesting, because now that happens to be the guess for 2022. 7th anniversary. And this to go along with it as well. With the whole... What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As to why they chose 8. Because obviously it's not 7 strikes. For it, right? And... A, I, I haven't seen anyone to give any correlations, like, actual correlations as to why there's eight of those. I think people have tried, but, like, it just, it's kind of far, far stretch for me, honestly. And, oh yeah, let me, let me, let me get behind the scenes of the Uriu Ishida. Okay, so yeah, this person right here on the first one, I like it being Ishida Uriu because of the meaning of his name or, or Rukia's. Yakiya's pride, but beyond the odds, I love sometime anniversary characters to be a tag team or double character kind of thing. That would be really cool, actually. But yeah, what what this person is talking about is that Uriu's name right here, um, actually is is written with the kanji for rain and dragon. So with that said, it it talks about sleep in the bed of lakes and ponds. And it it kind of the the water kind of seemed like that, but honestly, Bleach does have reoccurring themes of showing water and such like that. Like uh, when Ichigo's mother uh, uh, died that day, there was there, there was rain, there was uh, water in the river and stuff like that. So you could even say as a star, far stretch as it was, it could be Ichigo's mother or Ichigo again, but. I don't. I don't think anyone wants to see another Ichigo, as far as I can see. Um, I think most people down in the thread are just huge Rukia. Like everybody just wants Rukia, that's for sure. But yeah, and then also you look at the definition of resounding. If for anybody who's not very uh, well educated in, on this word, um, unmistakable, empath emphatic, or for the second meaning. Of a sound loud enough to reverberate. Smack across the face. And you know we got the synonyms for all this. Thunderous, loud, booming, resonant. So resounding could be yeah very loud kind of thing. But like very boastful pride. And then you could think of into many other characters. Who, who could be prideful. Or even show a lot of energy towards their pride. Or make it very clear as to pride. Because resounding can mean any kind of way in that kind of sense um zangetsu it has to be him the rain is the main principle of ichigo's inner world 
it's not just Ichigo's inner world, it's just the anime in general. Uh, Rain and Puddles just... The Kubo just loves to have that and his, his artwork and that surrounding Ichigo and, and all that. But, uh, yeah, so far I Ichida is the best guess. And, I mean, Zangetsu too, because that, that is a good point with the whole Rain thing and inner world and stuff like that. Which would be really cool, because honestly, all the Zangetsu characters and such, they 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 aren't really that great in any kind of way. It's a, they're super outdated and everything as a character. It would be great to get a a Zangetsu, but to describe Zangetsu as being a resounding pride is kind of far stretched, and that's. It's kind of why I'm leaning over to Ishida. Like the rain and water, everything just makes super sense for Zangetsu. A resounding pride. The only person who kind of would scream that would be uh, Ishida. But Ishida's name kind of a stretch. I mean, like maybe that that ain't really a good one. You know, honestly, for this anniversary, I was hoping for uh, White Ichigo to be the uh the new anniversary character but it looks like i may not be getting my way i mean fingers still be crossed uh i think it's better either white or black true zangetsu okay sweet yeah that would be great actually oh yeah that is true both yeah because both white ichigo and well i mean white or black true zangetsu they both felt Ichigo's inner world and both Zangetsu's felt this sadness. They're the only ones you can category if it comes to the rain. That is super true, actually. So I'm, I may get the white Ichigo. That would be really, really great. Whatever version, honestly, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I mean, Byakuya, if we get Byakuya again, oh my goodness. I don't know. It's not that I don't want another Byakuya, I just feel like I just don't want him so badly. I just don't. Could be a number of characters coming to mind. The word pride is Byakuya, Rukia, Kumaru, uh, maybe Shuei. Depends on how you look at pride. I'll just stick with Rukia. For sure, no, no, no Rukia. No. The claw marks at the end immediately shot Grim Joe in my head. Those did not look like claw marks. Dang, I'm looking at this person's uh tweet right here. What the heck? The slash goes through all but these letters. TV's definition is sound. TV. Episode 168 through 189. The Fallen Shinigami's Pride is 189. Shusuke Amagai. Yeah, but like... I don't know, but the, the rain. I mean, we're all trying to categorize every single piece of the video to be a hint. So, I mean, it could be a possibility, any of these characters that everybody's mentioning. But the one that still screams to me is the Ishida thing. Ichigo and the Ice Princess. Honestly, the only character that comes to mind is Zangatsu. He's the biggest rain related character in Bleach. Honestly, the guy deserves some attention. Super true. We already talked about that. That is super duper true. I like how this person is like, oh my goodness, that makes so much sense. It's between Yawak and his younger self. I guess. Nah, it definitely, definitely White Zong gets it. Grimjow. No, it, it's definitely not going to be Grimjow. We could look at this. Right here. These do not look like claw marks to me. These are these are not claw marks. This this would either go in a category of a Zanpakuto kind of slash or even Uryu's like arrow kind of thing. T to me that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, let's see, as we go down. I mean, I would love to have Grimjow, honestly. I have no Grimjow characters, so to be almost guaranteed to get a, a Grimjow character on the fifth step would be great.
Equals six. Yeah, okay. Bunkai involves the water. The ripples are the swords. Pride is definitely a character cuts. Yeah, people people make that kind of thing. Yeah, but seventh anniversary looks like how could I? Yeah, this is true, but that that just goes along with the idea that it does look resemble more of like a Zompakto kind of thing, and not Grimjaw's claws. Okay, this right this right here. So in the trailer, I saw that I think that it was a skull that almost looks. Directly like Chad's attack and the pride quote. I truly believe that Chad would t take pride in his ability. So I truly that yes, Toru Chad is the new anniversary character. If so, good choice. That I can actually see. I mean, it has nothing to relate to the rain or nothing like that. But Chad does have great pride. If you saw in the uh, the last anime arc or uh, the Fullbringer arc, yeah, uh, he. Chad gives Ichigo a hint that it was his pride in his ability to fight or his powers, etc. For, for him to bring on his abilities kind of thing and to realize his true strength. Yeah, honest, honestly, it would be really cool because they saw a skull. Because I, I didn't see a skull in, in the video whatsoever, actually. If there is a skull, the only thing I would have to say is, uh, because it's probably blurred out as heck, and that they, they assume that it looks like a skull, because honestly, it's probably something you could vaguely see, and now it's just the imagination of the mind, and that was the first thing that popped up. But I still would consider it to be white Ichigo in a hollowed like mask of a much more decorated version of him, or it could be Chad. It could be Chad. And the rain has nothing to do with it. They just have the rain and droplets because that is a main theme in Bleach Brave Souls. I cannot stress that enough. 7th anniversary by Sheen. I have no idea on this. I really doubt this is even a thing. Will bring Ichigo, rain and sorrow of losing his powers. The pride of his badge and being a soul reaper. The eight stripes of the eight people that put their power into the sword to restore his power. Was it eight people? I could have sworn it was a lot of people. I think it was all 13 court squads. Yeah, I could have sworn it was all 13 court squads and then even more, like Udahara and... Yeah, I, th I think it was all 13, so... Yeah, when it comes to Pride, I mean, like... Ishida is just for sure. No, no, those are not scratches. Those are not scratches. What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> Hello, Ichigo, our version of Old Man's Aikatsu. Just a theory based on the teaser. Yeah, definitely understandable. Grim Jow, no. I'm immediately th throwing Grim Jow out. I like, I would love a Grim Jow character. Like, I want the uh, Beyond Resurrection. For Grimjow, like that's the character I'm I'm shooting for right now. If if I can ever get the banner for him, but that is the the only one. No, the the other Beyond Resurrection is uh, dang, what's her name? Oh, Nell. I I want Nell's uh, Beyond Resurrection. Oh, here here we are. It's this person talking about I really want a new Nell character. Also, just gonna try guess something completely different other than let's see how it goes. And it just happens to be now, that'd be f nuts. Honestly, we'll see. Wait, what? What does he mean, got it? Click on this. I 
I don't know. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think this guy's got it. Grim Jow, Grim Jow. I think people just really want Grim Jow. That there is no thing that other than the slashes that gives them the idea of Grim Jow. Where, like, what is this? How are people drawing the lines that they can see something here? I'm sorry, I just can't. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Th this guy's got to be joking right here. That screenshot is actually 100%. Like, what? Get out of here. Udahada. That would be great. Oh my goodness. Yes. This, this, this would be exactly what I'm talking about right here. This would be great. This person was smart. Right here. Another. Oh my goodness. Yes. Everything but the rain. This person got right here. Like this is, th this is a good guess right here. No, Rukia, no. So now, now we're definitely like on the whole hollow white Ichigo thing. And, uh, and Uryu. Now, now I'm really thinking it's white Ichigo because someone's claiming they saw a skull. I don't know how they saw a skull. We'll look back at the video. Here we go. I think it will be Kenpachi. Okay. Pride, definitely there. Everything else, no. Let me turn on the volume for this. Okay. I just want to know what are what what are people looking at when they see a skull or like maybe I don't have the greatest resolution or something. I don't know. We'll try one more time. One more time. Anybody see anything there? I didn't think so. I mean, I guess you could... You could make a face right here in the center. On the bottom. And he's got horns right here. Honestly, I just see that as light. Maybe that's the... Okay, right here. Okay, right when we see the light... We see three streams of light, that's for sure. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. I still don't see anything. Okay, we're still not seeing a dang thing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I have no idea what people are saying. They are just claiming things to be false. Because this is all the free stuff we're getting like every single day. Download now, 7th anniversary coming soon. That's really weird that that's what the app will be saying, if not. Um... Kisuke and Ichigo. No. Captain Commander. Yeah, honestly, possibility, but no. Yeah, no. Yes, we know about the kanji. Aim your blade at my pride. Wrecked. Yeah, I understand the Byakuya thing, but still, I'm still on the... Ishida, Uryu, and White Ichigo. Or Zangetsu, that's, that's fine. Honestly, I feel like it's not White Zangetsu. 
It could be Chad, because he does have pride. That would be great if I could even see a skull. But White, Z White Zangetsu is my best guess, honestly, because Zangetsu, the younger version of Yawak, just, they don't really scream pride to me other than Quincy stuff, but no one said it better than Uryu. That's for sure. But yeah, I am going to end this video for sure. But nothing is changed. Well, okay, no, we, we did change our answer at the at the end of this, actually. I am definitely going for white Ichigo. Or that, that, specifically that version, that black version with the white face. That one for sure is is the winner for me. That one I definitely believe is is going to be the seventh anniversary character um yeah just leave down in the comments below if this video changed any of your answers or just put down in the comments down below who you think is going to be the uh seventh anniversary character because uh i would i would love to hear what people have to say on in the comments of my video instead of going through the threads honestly um and for anybody who who'd be willing to try to convince me that would be great actually and then no yeah definitely a response to that that would, that would be great um no i'll respond to all the comments honestly but uh yeah that would that would be the end of the video thank you for watching subscribe like comment etc who you think is going to be the bleach brave souls seventh anniversary character and hopefully you entered into this contest right here because um i forgot what the what the prize is what why does it not say prizes here? Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be here. Details? Find out. Okay, here's the campaign, right? Guess who? Oh, yeah, let's allow all cookies. Did I refresh the page? Okay, I was supposed to end this video, and now I'm just exploring. Okay, yeah, so that's just the video. Quote tweet the hint the video post on the official Twitter account and add the hashtag guess. How to enter, we already know. Prizes. Five winners will be selected from among those who guess the seventh anniversary character correctly and will receive a Brave Souls original acrylic block. Sixth anniversary version. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is this the same one? Yes, yes it is. 100%. 100% the same one. We're not getting anything out of this. Alright, yeah. I'll see you later. Bye!